first thing you're going to do is add two cups and two thirds of a cup of plain flour to a mixing bowl. Next, you're going to add two tablespoons of icing sugar. Next, add just a little pinch of salt. Once the dry ingredients have been mixed together, you're going to add three quarters of a cup of cold butter that you've cut into cubes. Next up, you're going to whisk together four tablespoons of water and two egg yolks, and then you're going to add that to your flour butter mixture. You're going to mix until dough forms, which doesn't take very long. Once you've got a good dough mixture, you're going to wrap it in cling wrap and refrigerate the dough for 30 minutes, which allows the gluten to relax. Once you've removed your dough from the refrigerator, just roll it out on a floured surface. I typically like to get it about a quarter of a millimeter thick, but it really depends on if you like a thick pastry or a thinner pastry. It's totally up to you. For these pop tarts, I'm going to be using three different fillings. For this one, I'm just using plain blueberry jam. Once you've got a good amount of filling in there, just add your second pastry piece and use a fork to push the sides together. Poke the surface with your fork to let the steam escape, and then complete it with another egg wash before throwing in the oven. For this Pop-Tart, I'm repeating the same process, but I'm adding a cinnamon and sugar filling. Finally, for my last Pop-Tart, I'm using a cherry jam filling. This is totally up to you, these are just the flavors I had in my fridge, but honestly, any jam filling would be delicious. While your Pop-Tarts are in the oven, you're going to make the icing. It's just going to be one quarter cup of icing sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and just enough water to make it thick. Mm -hmm. 
Once your Pop-Tarts have cooled, just throw that icing on top and decorate however you'd like. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button.